Hello, hello everybody, Coach Barrow here again. Just a quick video for all our friends there on the Tennis Vault and uh, YouTube. I got a little video here about an FAQ, you know, a frequently asked question. You know, I get bombarded with this one, you know. Get our clients go like, how do I reduce my, my mistakes, you know, my errors, you know, I just miss too much. I just, I try, I practice and I feel like I'm out there and I feel like I'm concentrated. I feel like I'm doing my best and I, and I still miss shots that I think I should miss. What I've come up with, you know, in, uh, in the past few years is a little recipe that I feel that works really well. And for my players, you know, because uh, I, I really thought about the, the most common errors that we make. And then, you know, I, I found the solution. Well, if you we take care of these main common errors, you know, chances are we'll make less mistakes. So let's go here with common errors of a regular club player. You have to say that not watching the ball very well is one, right? Very common mistake when you're about to hit, you look away, you're trying to see where you're going to hit, you're looking at the target. Shoulder turns, head turns together. It's very difficult to keep the head still as you're swinging, unless you train that. So that's a very common mistake. You know, you take your eye off the ball before impact, and therefore you don't hit it as, 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 as crisp and clean. Another uh, common mistake I feel I see a lot is uh, t t t related to the timing. You know, the this famous late shot. You know, oh, I hit it late. You know, when you hit it late, your feel for the racket is not as good. Your leverage is not as good. It even causes injuries. Hitting late is no good, causes mistakes for sure. And you always hear that guy say, oh, I'm not moving, you know, I didn't set up, you know, I didn't. So that causes mistakes too, for sure, if you're lazy out there, if you're not, you know, at your best on your footwork. Well, let's suppose that you move very well, and then you're also watching the ball very well, and you timed it very well, and you still missed it. Well, you might have just miscalculated. An honest miscalculation happens in a game, happens in any sport. You'll see a basketball player, for example, make a beautiful jumper and it hits the rim. It doesn't go in the basket. That doesn't mean he made an ugly shot. So you might do everything right and still miscalculate a little bit and your ball goes out a little bit. And that's a, just an honest, you know, mistake that's part of the, the, the beauty of our sport. So, so basically, if you, if you really think that, you know, watching the ball is a key basic thing, hitting the ball in front is a key basic thing, and moving the feet to set up is a key basic thing, if you concentrate on doing these three things, I feel you're going to be reducing your errors by, by, by as, as max as you can during that moment of playing. You know, you're out there in the middle of the match, you can't improve your strokes now. You've got to go with what you got. Well, make sure you move your feet like a cat, watch the ball like a hawk and time the ball out in front diagonally in front of you every single time because uh, you're going to be for sure hitting your best shots possible and the interesting thing too is that they are intertwined meaning to, to move well you need to be watching the ball well don't you think you know and also if you watch the ball well you know and, and, and consequently you can move well because you're watching the ball well, that enables you to time the ball well because you get in the right position. If you're trying to time the ball well, you have to be watching the ball well to do that and also have to be moving well to time it well. And if you're trying to just watch the ball well, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a basic key factor for you to also move and hit the ball out in front think about it they're all intertwined they work together so that's the recipe you coming out of the tunnel going into your match you think I must move my feet I must watch the ball and I must strike the ball out in front of me so that I play my best possible tennis you still might miss but you're gonna miss less for sure this simple recipe has worked like a charm it's a simple simple three thing to think about you don't have to go out there on the court thinking about a million things. Just make sure that you do these basic things and you for sure will see the result. All right, cheers. Take care, Coach Morrow signing off. Let me know what you think. Let me know what happened after the match. Cheers.